The Art of the Amazing Spider-Man from Bullpen Books. Well, actually it's not. It's Dark Horse and Marvel, of course. This is 200 pages, hardback, really, really nice. And you can see it's a really big, big, big book, which is good. Not massive artist-sized, so it's actually, you can lift it, nor is it the same size as Artisan. I'm just going to show you a comparison with that. And you can see this is all genre meter. Well, and a bit of killed cane as well. However, let's just go through it. $59.99 and it's $78.99 in Canadian dollars. I paid about £42 for it. Can't remember now exactly because the price sort of got a refund. It was 43 or something. I think got a bit of a refund on that. So amazing Spider-Man art of. I hope this is a new series that's coming. I don't know if they're going to bring out new ones. Maybe one of Gil Kane, Jack Kirby, Don Heck. Who knows? Bill Everett. There's a load of possibilities. It would be brilliant to see if they bring out a whole volume set of volumes of these. But this is just a lovely, the art of the amazing Spider-Man. You can see there, Dark Horse. And 200 pages. I'm just going to go through now. But first, let's just quickly do a comparison of the size. So you can see it. I think they're both the same size. I've got the other one here as well. Ooh, just move that. You can see the size there. And as you can see there, the size is obviously slightly thicker. Which is about twice the size, I would say. And you can see it is definitely bigger. Page quality is a bit different. I mean, the paper quality is absolutely lovely, but the brightness of the page is slightly different, I would say. Doing the comparison, definitely looks a slightly browner quality. And also they've added in this, obviously, Artisan, you can see there you've got, that's a brilliant story. That's not included in this big volume, but the Speedster and the Spider, you can see there's a white all the way around the edge. This doesn't have it. So you've got the full page. So obviously they've blown up even more in that respect. So this one has got a number of stories that overlap with the artisan ones. So it's not perfect. So unfortunately it doesn't seem to be, and I can't see it, an index or contents or anything. <laughs> so I have no idea, but it's got here featuring the artwork of John Romita Jr. You can see there you've got a lovely introduction there. And also the legacy of, which is good. I've got that. Now, I know there was a Vault book that came out for Spider-Man. I never bought it, so I don't know what was included. So maybe a lot of material that's in this may be duplicated there. I don't know. But you've got lots of these sort of examples, lovely pages there. Really good. Like this sort of thing. Now, I assume that that has been included before. Personally, never seen that one. But it's possible it's around. And you've got to see the following pages showcase. Oh, now this does give the list to a degree. No, it doesn't. still doesn't give an actual list. just says between 39 and 122, including all the covers in chronological order. Seven full stories are reproduced from the original art, revealing details that may be not as clear in the published version, strokes and pens, etc, etc. Now, that's why it's similar to this one. But I'm just going to go through them, and you can see which one. This one, I don't believe is included, the Sinister Shocker. So it's quite... A, this is weird because this is one that was in the Origins of Marvel Comics. We have just recently got a copy of and that's a reprint of the Fireside book. But this one, Amazing Spider-Man 46, not one of my favourite stories. The Shocker was okay. The villain, not the world's greatest villain. But he, you know, they are. Shock. They love that, whatever it was. Batroc. Batroc instead of shock, shock. For two, I always love all those things. And there you've got all the various characters, of course, all the way through. Flash, etc. And on to the next set. So you've got lots of these light covers, which is great. In many ways, I don't know why they didn't include the cover, the colour cover as well. At the side, that would have made sense, but still. Okay, they've gone for that. That would have been nice if they had them, of course. All the various covers and things, but they haven't. Very strange. I would have thought it would have been nice to include. And then you've got this one, The Madness of Mysterio. Classic stuff. I love that one. And this is issue 67. Weirdly, I've got that massive cover there. But they have got the cover there. So you've got this one. This one's 67, to squash a spider. And you can see there, just probably one of my all-time favourite Spider-Man stories. I love, love this period of Spidey. Lots of great stories around that time. Mysterio and that sort of, I don't know, carnival, fairground. Just amazing. Just brilliant. At the time, I must say, I didn't know, know obviously, later I did <laughs> But at the time when I first got, I thought, wow, this story, you know, wow, did he actually shrink him or is there something, is he grown, whatever? Maybe, 
Giant Man was involved, Ant Man was involved. That would have been a twist, wouldn't it? The story. Also, you've got this story, of course, the classic story that they were searching for a stone. The Dead Sea Scrolls. Well, no, this is an ancient clay tablet, older than the. And there he is, obviously, Kingpin battling away. Great little story. Now, does it. Yes, that includes. That says 69 they are. So that's what it also included. The Amazing Spider Man number 69. And then you've got more brilliant artwork there all these got pages there what a tangled web we weave and speed spider again one of my favorite ones love that one death without warning and of course you've got the classic doc ock so you've got a few lovely pages like that which is really nice and some more color pages there so showing the covers you've got iceman story that would have been lovely i would love to have seen the iceman story again the medusa story that would have been brilliant Maybe it doesn't exist. I don't know. Maybe it's lost. Maybe it's in a private collection and it was not available. I don't know. And you can see some more covers there, 107, etc., etc. And then on to Amazing Spider-Man, 108. Vengeance from Vietnam. Not a favourite story. It's fine, but nothing exceptional. But again, you can see this. When you look at the other ones, they got slightly browner, I think. I don't know why. I, I, maybe it's just my imagination. But certainly for me. I mean, it's fine. It's absolutely brilliant. The artwork is... Looks fine, perfectly. Now, if I didn't have the other one to compare, maybe I would say, you know, but still. And on to the next one, which is number 109. Enter Doctor Strange. Not one of the most brilliant, sort of best titles ever, but it describes it. Enter Doctor Strange. You can't beat that. It says it all, doesn't it? And you've got that. Now, some of the pages are slightly odd. That one, slightly. Some of them do look a bit, Slightly rough. I don't know why. Can't place my finger. Now, when you look at the ones in the art sand, they're slightly rough as well. So maybe the material was not the best. I don't know. Obviously, everyone will have their opinions about the quality of the work. Something I didn't really like this one. Uh, that's not that one. <laughs> Pick up the wrong one, of course. This one as much as the other ones. Because I like the stories of the 50s, 40, 60, that sort of period more than later, sort of 1200 they They're great stories, but they weren't my favourites in the same way. As you can see, 110. And you've got, of course, some more. Well, that's a lovely one. Ah, oh, that's interesting, 113. What's that? Okay. And this one, 115, of course, Hammerhead story. Again, not a favourite of mine. Not a keen fan of Hammerhead, personally. And Doc Ock, not as good story I don't think as some of the early ones wouldn't be lovely if they brought a Ditko one out I suspect that's not going to happen but we can always live in hope that would be just brilliant if there was ever a Ditko one but how we got here some great covers again and this was about the period when I started collecting Spider-Man first because I in the UK I don't know maybe I, I think that was the one Ma April March 1973 that was the first issue that I picked up at the news agents. Before that, I didn't see them. Maybe they were in the shops. I don't know. But that, please put in the comments below. I'd be really curious. Did we have UK in the UK, these comics and regular sort of distributions? But for some weird reason, certainly in Maidstone, where I live, I didn't see them. Maybe I just didn't notice them. Doesn't mean they didn't exist, of course. However, this classic one, the trouble was, of course, we ended up, I had about two issues, and then suddenly, of course, because they brought out the Spider-Man Weekly, we got, we didn't get these. This issue, I think, 120, I don't remember seeing it in New Zealand. You could get it up at Dark They Were and Gold Night, etc., or in specialist shops or wherever, you know, mail order and those sort of things, but you couldn't pick it up. Always annoyed me. So annoyed me when they did that. It just for a period of time, we just didn't get any of those sort of spideys or even Avengers and things. They just went because of whatever. Mad reasons as far as I'm concerned. Made no sense. But however, at least we've got them now. We can look at them, of course. You've got all Omnis editions. You've got all the millions of different epics, of course, as well. But this, of course, is the classic story. The Green Goblin and Gwen Stacy. And everyone knows how it all ends. But I see. So I'm not going to say. But you do. Oh, I was going to turn that page anyway. That would be bad. And you've got the end there. And you can see all the various credits. Dark Horse there. Amazing Art of, Art of the Amazing Spider-Man. Bit of mouthful, that title. However, 
I hope this is part of a series of books they're going to produce from Dark Horse. I mean, obviously, at the moment, we've got some great stuff from Fantagraphics as well. I love the fact that the Marvel, obviously, slash Atlas ones are coming out. There's loads of those coming out that I just love. Brilliant, brilliant books. There's one coming out fairly soon, the War Comic one that I'm really looking forward to. But there's also another one, Girls Comics one, that sounds brilliant. But this is the end of this. Just to bring my only slight disappointment. I wish they'd included maybe slightly bigger covers, places. And also, why not put some of the covers or something here? Don't know why they put this. It just seems a bit of a waste of space because it's on the front as well. So you've got the front, you've got that as well. I would have thought four pages, you could have included a lot more great pics of Spidey other than the sort of repeat pattern design. But still, brilliant, brilliant books. You can see the listing of all the things. So there's a couple of stories that are new, totally new, as far as I'm aware. And also, obviously, some that are duplicating the others. And let's just quickly go through these ones, just quickly show this, because it's best to show. See their list. There's the list, 67, 68, 69, 71, 75, and 84. But you can see it's, it is smaller. So that's definitely worth considering for that. And also, this one, of course, brilliant one. Now, ah, oh, I wonder if, yes, the Gil Kane one might include, I haven't got picked that one. I think the Gil Kane might include the other one. So that other one, maybe not, might be available in something else as well. Don't hold me on that. I haven't checked. Just suddenly thought about that one. Got a gill cane, went upstairs. So let's just go through this. 106, 108, 109, 110, 111, 113, 113, 114, 115. So that is, and there's also some covers there. So in those two volumes, you can see what they've got. Ooh, this is a lovely book. Really pleased to pick it up. Picked it up. So this one, The Art of Amazing Spider-Man, a really interesting new addition to the Marvel Universe slash bullpen book slash dark horse. 